mind telling us your name, please? My name is James Champenor. Okay, thank you so much. And can you tell us what you brought to the harvest today? Um, I brought this sign that I acquired um, from some friends of mine. It was originally pur purchased at a yard sale, and um, they had it hanging in their back porchway. And I'm a general contractor, and I commented about the sign because of its local origin. And next thing I knew, they gave it to me. So oh, wow. I was really pleased to um, acquire it, and um, I just think it's in great shape. And probably over 100 years old, I would think. That's um, excellent. Um, and I would assume it's hand-painted based on how old it is, do you know? I, I would think so, think or, yeah, um, maybe stenciled. Um, I think it was probably supplied by the paint company to Bowie's Hardware as, as one of their sales agents for that brand of paint, um, which I've never heard of. <laughs> yeah, me neither. And do you know a little bit more about how that item connects to the history of Milton? Um, anything about the company or? Um, Bowie's Hardware, the building was built after the 1880 fire, I understand, and it was torn down in 1973. But it was a large building on Front Street, um, and they sold anything from nails to just a lot of hardware items. really what they sold. I was never in the store. I was 11 when the building was torn down. Was, okay. So I don't really remember it, but I've seen pictures of the building. They called it the buoy block. Yeah, the building was so large. Wow. And then would you mind telling us a little bit more about the other item that you brought in today? Okay, this is a Keystone coin um, watch fob. And I think this jeweler, Harry Griffin, it says jeweler Milton PA was probably a jeweler that was in town prior to the fire because I've never heard of his store. So pre-1880? Pre-1880. Pre um, it's nickel coin is what it's made out of and it was probably just an advertising piece they gave to customers um, and it was a fob that actually went in your vest pocket and it, you could use it to open your pocket watch on the back if you had to wind it or um, I just thought it was a great little advertising piece from Milton's past and it has the Pennsylvania Keystone at the top of it. And how did you acquire that item? I purchased this at a, a flea market, a local flea market. So. That's great. Did you just stumble across it or were you specifically looking no, for it? No, I things? just stumbled across it and I thought, wow, I've never heard of them. And I've heard of Keystone watches, um, cases, they made the case. They didn't make the works. But um, most of them were coin silver, I guess. and. Um, I just thought it was cool, local piece of, of Milton's past. That's great. Um, for folks unfamiliar with Milton, is there anything else you wanted to share about your items? And um, how they might connect to the town's history? Well, it's just a part of the past, you know, from over a hundred years ago, I think. And um, uh, they kind of connect certainly to Milton's history, you know, it's places that are long gone. Um, and I just enjoy the local history items. <laughs> That's great. So. Uh, any last thoughts for people watching this interview? Um, come to Milton. It's a great little town. It's come a long way. I was part of um, the facade grant program where we, we gave Elm Street money out to um, different businesses to do a matching grant and replace windows to go back to original or gingerbread or Victorian paint schemes on the buildings and a lot of them look really cool and I was glad to be part of that program.